All right. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. We're back with Subnautica. Hopefully, to finish up our build here, get a few of the uh, the last pieces is what I'm trying to think of. I do have a few announcements, guys. A few announcements here. Uh, first of all, Sunday is Easter. I have some plans. So we will not be streaming on Easter because I will be engaged with some family stuff. I hope you guys all will be as well. Now, I think next weekend we're going to be checking out Planet Crafter. I'm hoping to get this build done today. If not, we'll have to come back to it. No sound. You guys don't have any sound? I can see my, my mix. I can see my thing coming. You guys don't hear anything? Kelly, Jana has sound. Can anybody else hear me? You can hear me, Adam. Thank you. I have no family. Sorry to hear that, Black Dragon. I will be spending time with my family. Nigel, okay. Okay. Kelly, um, you might need to reload the stream. Sound is good. Thank you, old man, Gib. She's a can hear me. Thank you. So I'm hoping to finish this. Okay. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I'm hoping to finish this build today, right? Sweet and clear. Oops, it's me. <laughs> you had me panic, Kelly. It's usually me. It's usually me. So uh, you're, you're right to suspect me. So yeah, like I was saying, um, no stream. Well, it's a little laggy. No stream tomorrow because it's Sunday. It's uh, Easter and I'll be doing stuff. And, you know, a lot of people usually have plans. Not everybody, but... That's how it goes, especially with holidays on a stream day. I usually take that off just so everybody can be with their families and do stuff. And, you know. Yeah, we are getting some lag. Let me take my cam out. Usually that's what the issue is. All right. Okay. Now, um, another thing, I got a, a bunch of you guys here. I don't know if everybody knows, but uh, the developers for uh, Nightingale Game uh, selected me and a number of other creators to work backstage, kind of. They asked us a bunch of questions. I guess there's going to be a series of focus groups up to the release. And uh, there is one thing that I can definitely share with you guys. I am lagging. Let me see what's going on. Okay. And that is the trailer. So hopefully you guys like it. Take a look because we will be covering this on the channel. It's supposed to be a multiplayer survival crafting game with multiple biomes and all kinds of stuff. It's got a different kind of vibe, like a steampunky vibe. Uh, it's pretty awesome. But I'm going to play the trailer for you guys. Some of you may have seen this already. Some of you may not have, but it looks pretty awesome. And then I'll say hi to everybody. Since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Lost and alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. Welcome to the lands of Fae. Portal is a chance for salvation. 
uniting the lost survivors. Or leading us deeper into this nightmare. Nightingale, our beacon of hope. But beyond our reach. As long as we stand together, our journey will unite us. You, the Realm Walkers. So like I was saying, guys, let me unmute this so that you guys can at least hear some of the background sounds going on. Like I was saying, I was given permission by the developers to go ahead and play that trailer for you guys. There's a few other things that I have that I just haven't done anything with yet. I kind of want to do a, a little bit of a reveal about the, about the game. But yeah, we're going to be covering this game on the channel. I'm thinking... Probably multiplayer live streams. I'm going to be doing guides and all kinds of stuff. They might be slow to come out at first, guys, because I like to take my time and kind of figure things out before I do. So that's what's going on. That's uh, that's the news. Let's see who's all here. Now I can say hello to everybody. I got my stuff out. Scottish Survivor, hello. Kelly, Gino, Conspiracy Media is here. And... Jana, hello, Nigel, Adam, Black Dragon, and Old Man Gib, hello, Queen Shiza, hello, T Rex, what's cracking? Big Ginger, hello. Let's see, any Sander, hello. Okay, I think we're good. And looking for water. Um, well, it's supposed to be coming to early access on Steam, Old Man Gib, this year. I do have another possible meeting with the developers, me and everybody else, uh, I think in the summertime. So I can't say any more, guys. I have an NDA. So if you guys ask me a ton of questions... Just short of what they've already released and talked about the game is all I can. I do know it's a survival building game, multiple biomes. It looks cool. We'll have to see. I'm hoping it does. Looks like a mix of Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, SimCity, more looking forward to Subnautica 3. That's years away, Black Dragon. Years away. They haven't even, they're still, they're still in pre-production, bud. So you're thinking two, two, two years, and I'm going to be playing it. This one's going to be out this year. So. Okay. I did get a bunch of cords. He's going over to our base. Hey. Yeah, for some reason I was dropping frames. I'm not typing that many names. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get him over here. He's going to mess with us. I don't know if he is. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I think he we're good for at least for the moment. Beginning of the trailer kind of had a dark survival vibe to it. Yeah, it looks cool. And the stuff I've seen like behind, kind of behind the scenes a little bit, looks pretty dope too, so. Not that I've, not that I've seen a whole lot, but uh, I'm pretty hopeful for it. I can say that. My dog is going off out there. Um, we're going to put those away. I do have some glass. 
I need to plant some plants. Let's get these going. And uh, let's make some more glass. We need to start doing this stuff. The beginning, uh, I caught up on last night's stream. That was 10 tons of W2, WTFs. Yeah, Martha is dead is turning out to be quite the game. I didn't give it enough credit when I was initially like feeling it out. And I thought, I don't know if they're going to like this game, but oh, man, this game is something. Two days ago, you found the lava zone in Kyanite. Yeah. Freeze, what's going on? I've spent 13 hours in below zero. Should I share my progress? Share it or save it? I think he's above us. But. Okay. I think it's time. We're going to take one of these out. We're going to put this in. Let the batteries recharge. Yeah, share your progress, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think this corner over here could be good for food. At least temporarily. Uh... Miner, what's going on? Jet, longtime lurker coming out of the uh, under my rock. Hey, Jet, what's cracking, man? It's good to see you. I just left all my stuff over there. That is most unfortunate. Yeah, I'm really excited for Nightingale, guys. I got some, I think, I kind of got a little bit of a Valheim kind of feel for it, but the graphics are gonna be better. Um, I think it looks like to me like a mix of survival, base building, and multiplayer kind of a vibe with a little bit of action and exploration. So uh, here's hoping that uh, it turns out to be really good. Okay. Did I get all? I did. I have a ton of glass on me. Okay. Welcome to the surface. Hey, do not mess with me. Oh, Lord. Welcome to the oh, we got to go. Hey, get away from the base. Oh no, just reload your game, Scottish. All right. And how much do we got back here? I know we got stuff. Okay, we don't have a ton. How many gas pods though, Gino? Like how many do you need? You know what I'm saying? That's the question I always ask. Okay. Now we're, we started putting windows in. That's right. Cool. Uh, we have windows over here. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 
I want windows. Yes, I do. Fifteen is more than enough. Oh, it's an observatory, Chris. So we can... S 67. Oh, so we got so much build room for this. Oh, so exciting. They said it couldn't be done. Too much glass, they said. Well. <laughs> Yo! This is cool. Yeah, I think I can reinforce this one if I need to because it just goes into the base here and nobody needs to see that. PS4 can't handle the size. The size it stops rendering after four. Hey Z, good morning. Hello chat. I'll be listening while doing house chores and cooking. Hope everyone's yep. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm going to be uh, smoking a big old ham, a big old pork shoulder on my smoker all day tomorrow. So why am I not playing below zero? Because I thought I, oh, I thought I would start with the original League of Legends. Then I think uh, we're going to check out Planet Crafter and then we'll go to below zero. And if chat likes Planet Crafter, we'll stay there for a while. There's no hurry. The games aren't going anywhere. Look at him. If you leave my stuff alone. Oh, sh. Hey! Oh, gotta go down this way. He's attacking it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, we're good. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Huh. Maybe I can slip him down here. Yeah. Put him like right here. Let's see. Hey. Oh, he is all kinds of them. All right, come with me. Let me see if I can get you out of here. Come on. It's like a big dog, you know? Huh? What is Planet Crafter? It's like a mix of Subnautica and all that, but No Man's Sky. It's a, it's cool. It's a good game. Tax payment. I killed a ghost Leviathan today. I'm feeling good. Cool, Big Ginger. That's what you do, guys. You get the Leviathans in key locations so you can explore. Taking the sea dragon out for an epic battle. Taking him out for a walk, getting him away from me. All right, I think he's good. He went away. And uh, this might work in my favor, putting it right here. All right, uh, let's do some more. Dude, if you leave me alone, I will leave you alone. Oh! He killed us. Ah, I lost all my stuff. Hmm. What did I lose? I don't think I lost anything. No? No? All right. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That will be a reinforcement. There you go. 44 on hull integrity, and that's a good... What do we got here? I could put a ladder all the way to the bottom, I think. Uh... That did hurt, man. He smoked me. Nonsense, Gino. He's good. No big deal. I didn't lose anything, and even if I did, okay. Uh, I guess. God, I don't like that I can't rotate that. All right, whatever. Okay. It looks cool, though. And we got to put something. Oh, I kind of. Uh, we're going to take this out. I can get up and down over there. Isn't Platic Crafter underwater? No. Fun facts Below Zero actually starts before the original Subnautica in their timeline. No, that is not true, Scottish. And the reason I know that is because Margaret Maida is alive after the fact and surviving, and Altera is farming the heck and researching the heck out of the planet, and they didn't know anything about it until you crash land on it in this game. The Degassi went missing, and they didn't know where it was. Is he coming back? He is all kinds of upset, isn't he? Don't laugh at me. I quit permadeath. I, I'm going to stick to just hard. Many mistakes are made due to apple juice. <laughs> it's cool, man. Don't sweat it. Okay, so I was thinking like a cool observatory. Not yet. But, like, we can do some desks. I mean, Altera is a lot of things, but basically that's the thing. So, no, it's after the fact. And something pretty, right? Like plant pots. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, a garbage can. Nope. Ah, they really don't get you a lot to work with in this game, do they? No, that's garbage. Kind of like a little observatory where you can sit. Really? I don't have enough space? Fine. Go like this. You just kind of sit and do your work, take notes, all that nonsense. Did you get the ick, bro? You got the ick. Okay, do you know they are adding below zero base places to OG Subnautica? Yeah, I do know that, Gino. You know? I know that there are, that they supposedly hired a small team to implement a lot of quality of life changes from below zero over to the original Subnautica. What timeline that's in or when it's coming, I could not tell you, but I do know that they said that that's what they wanted to do. Like, 
I would like like to be able to pin recipes to your UI. I think that would be super helpful. Let's see how we're doing with food. Um, okay. Uh, no, is it still growing? Yeah. Okay. Brandon Bates. Thank you so much for subscribing, buddy. Welcome to the channel. Okay, we got enough for a little bit more glass. Then maybe we got to go back to the dunes area and probably get some more quartz. I got a bunch of it over there. There's a reaper over there we haven't killed yet. I killed one, but there's another one kind of floating around over there. We may need to take care of. This is how I sit during my exam when I don't know anything. <laughs> I like to see the implementation of large rooms. Yep, glass domes, right? Glass roofs. There's a lot of things. I don't know what they're doing. I just know that's what they said. Now, from what they said initially to what's put in the game, because of whatever, God, I, sh I just couldn't tell you. But I would like to see a graphical update for this as well. Okay, we got a little bit of glass. Um, so that's done. We're at 34% hull strength. I need some windows over here. How much? I have one piece of glass. Well, that's not going to help. But I can put one window in. What do I need? One, two. Woo, Lord crap. <laughs> Dude, you just set fire to my base, bro. Hey, Cody, what is going on, my man? How are you doing, sir? All right, let's go get some more. Off to the dunes, I think. Maybe we kill a reaper today. Why didn't my name pop up when, it's, when I subbed? I was already subbed, but I wanted to see my name. I don't know. Maybe because of that. You'd have to ask, you'd have to ask YouTube, Gino. I don't know. Might not make a suit out of it. For real, man. We almost got all the windows we need, too. I'm pretty excited. Okay. Like I said, there is a Reaper out here. I can hear him in the distance. We may have to kill this guy. Let's save our progress here. A little better every day. I'm just saying, I have no idea why it didn't, Gino. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm not YouTube. Uh, 
No idea. Do you have it set to private or anything like that? Like your subscription set to private? If they're not public, then uh, it won't show up in the alerts. So there was originally one Reaper here, but I can hear one in the distance. You may have to kill this guy if he doesn't, if he messes with us. Look at that beautiful H2O, you're killing. Okay, I left my coffee across the studio room. Oh. Is there an auto save feature, Dominic? Uh, no, you want to save frequently. Just pause your game. It's right here. Ah, fish. Hey. Can I not kill him? I killed him. I can't do anything with him. Huh. I need food, man. Leave me alone. There is no food here. Ah, peepers. There we go. Oh, there's another peeper. All right, we're straight. Every modern game auto saves Subnautica. No, I don't think it will. Ah, oh, this is like an eight-year-old game, man. All right. A little bit more quartz. Gary, I started a new campaign four times. The game crashed. I hadn't saved. Ooh. Yeah, the game, this game definitely, especially on console, really, really needs some bug fixes. The dorky gamer. What's cracking, man? Okay. Pop out here, see what we're looking space wise. I probably got one more node in me. Um probably off this way, huh? I think the crater's around. Oh the crater's right there. We could go get the cash, but eh. Right? It's like... Where is it? Is this it? Maybe not. Woo! No, this ain't the... This ain't the crater. There we go.
Yeah, Green Hell is good. Cannot wait till they bring all that goodness, Spirits of the Amazonia, to console. Oh, we're gonna grab this. I know there's nodes around here. Hey, where's my ship? Somewhere. Yeah, you can hear a reaper in the distance. I hopped on Green Hell the the uh, the day before yesterday just to mess with the Jaguar for a bit. Uh, yeah, it it'll be good. I'm excited for all the all they're bringing. I'd rather them take their time and get it right, though. You know, so uh, as much as I want to see it on console. If, if it's going to take a while, please take a while. There we go. We can always try, Cody. Is that a Reaper? That is a Reaper. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give me a minute, buddy. Let's do this. Where you at? <laughs> Kill him! Where do you think you're going? Come on! That's right, that wreck. Oh! Oh, are you trying to run from me? Oh. <laughs> okay, you're getting a little out of hand. Can I? Oh, he got me again. All right, we... There's another Reaper over there. Okay, I need to go away for a minute and fix my stuff. Bro, how far did he take me? Imp, what's going on? Next time, the door will be ready. Okay, let's go. You. Me. Fighting. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh no. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I feel like he's trying to shake me. Where are you going?
<laughs> yes! Kill him! You're dead. Yes. That's seven. Started making a base in creativity at the lily pads biome of below zero. I think it turned out well. Super cool. They got some great ability to build bases in below zero. How far did you take me away from my stuff? That's zero points. Okay. He was making a run for it. Yes, they do, Big Ginger. I have fought many a Reaper in the in the safe shallows. Hey. Um, I think we might have enough glass. <sighs> no space. Yeah, there you go. Go down into a hole. Losing my soul. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get these windows in. Figure out what we need structural-wise. Where is this guy at? Right there. Wait a minute. Was that all? I don't think I've ever been back this way. There ain't nothing over here. A warper. Kind of don't want to deal with him. Yep, I don't feel the Reaper. Fear the Reaper. Hey, hey, stay away from that. Hey. You. Come this way, come on. There you go. Ah. Wow, Jesus, that pissed him off. Come over here. No? God darn it. Let's go. 
Over here. There we go. Over here. Come get me. Oh, you don't want to be in the corner anymore. He's kind of not leaving my base alone. He's just kind of hanging out right over there. Come on. All right, let's make a run for it. He really does, Kelly. He's he's not leaving me alone. Have a good one, Gib. Thanks for hanging out, man. Okay. Now we'll go back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Drink some water. Let's break some materials down. Can you scan what? The dragon? Probably. It's kind of dangerous, to be honest. Yeah. I think you can, but you got to do it without dying. Okay, now if I could grab a little bit of lithium, right? It's lithium, right? Yeah. Whoa, that scared me. Okay. Put a window here. Uh, put a window here. Put a window here. Put one of these here. Like so. We can do the inside here as well if we'd like. I think I'll put one here. Hey, Henning. <laughs> yeah, give me a minute. I'll try to scan them. Go on a suicide mission just for you. I think that's all the windows we need. I need a little bit more titanium for some more reinforcements. So let me go get that. And I th think we might be okay. <clears throat> it's a pretty cool base, right, Jet? Why not? Why, you know, why not? Yes. Uh, let's put the glass away. I don't think I need it. And then there's one thing I would do want to see before we get out of hand. Okay. Bro, let's put in. Oh, oh one, two, three, four, five. You know. Okay.
All right, let's put in some supports. Most important here, especially for what I want to do inside. Oh, time to go. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> oh, I love that I can park this thing here and he can't get me. I don't think. He's going to try, though. Hey! Let's see. Oh, I got plenty. Okay, so those are done. I can do these. It's one per. Okay, so I can do all three of these. Save my game? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that gives us 81 hall, hall integrity. For me, it's all the glass. Doesn't feel right in there. This game already feels claustrophobic at times. This would be a great Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like uh, an observatory. Sea Dragon Observatory is the idea for the base. Okay, well, uh, there's my scanner. Okay, Gino, this is just for you. Save my, oh, it's saving. I'm gonna sit in here until the save goes through. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, he just smacked me, bro. He just backhanded me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get my med kits. Let me get my band-aids. <laughs> They're here somewhere. No, that's a locker. There they are. Uh, anything I don't want to lose, I think I'm going to put away. Now let's resave our game here. No, no, don't backhand me. No, no, stay still. Hey, Avantech, what's cracking? Hey, where are you going? I should probably do one of these. No, 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 no fire. This way. Uh, one more. You're gonna get me killed, Gino. That's lava. But he's quick. Hey. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Oh my God, he's fast. There. No, no. Oh. Oh, that. He, he fried him. <sighs> Come on, baby. I got to get closer. Oh, come on. Did I get it? No. Okay. Now I'm getting frustrated. Look here, buddy. 
Stand still. There you go. Thank you. I... Oh, you're kidding me! Come back here! Oh, you're kidding? <laughs> He's running from me! Oh, oh no, 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 not your mouth. <sighs> Alright, we need air. We need air. I really should have, Kelly. Let's get some oxygen. Things got out of hand. He's almost gone. He's almost done. There you are. Like Darth Vader said, I have you now. Let's go. Don't run from me. You gotta be like really close to him. It's so weird. Hey, don't shoot that at me. He's actually pretty quick. Where are you going? <laughs> Where? Yes. Oh, no. Darn warpers. Yes, there we go. I got him. Time to go. Put shoes on my two year old. <laughs> For real. Oh, my goodness. See you later, Cody. Have a good day, buddy. That was rough. All right, let's go down here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Now I want to see what it says. Uh, geological, alien data, scan data. No. Indigenous life forms. Leviathan. Follow! There we go. I got the sea dragon. Thank you so much for subscribing. The colossal leviathan with reptilian features seen stalking the very heart of the volcanic crater, which underpins life in this area. The scanned specimen measured 112 meters in length. Heat proof tissue, tissue analysis reveals the specimen consists of one third inanimate material focused around the chest area. So like armor, right? Scales, consumption and retention of mineral substances may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperature. It even appears to be able to consume molten materials and expel them at its adversaries. Evolutionary distinct forearms are used for both propulsion and offensive purposes. Yeah, he smacked me across the room. Findings suggest evolutionary. So there you go. Behavior. Oh, yeah. Assessment. Extreme threat. Avoid in all circumstances. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we need. Um, I can transfer this over there. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. $20. You are so incredibly generous. You are so freaking entertaining. Uh, I'm insane. I'm insane is what it is. Let's just call it what it is, Kelly. I'm crazy. I do stuff. People are just like, what? Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I want here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were going to do this. We were. I have enough for one. I'm going to take all my stuff back now. Got him scanned. That one's for you, Gino. 
Thank you, Kelly. That is really, really generous. I really do appreciate it. Oh, look, I have another glass. That's right, only one. And then this is lithium. I think I'm good there. And then depending on what we're going to put in the base. Look, now I scanned him. He's nowhere around. He's all ashamed. He doesn't want to be around me anymore. So look at that. Windows. We have 80 pulse integrity. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. And we did get everything here. Oh, I didn't. Yay. Um, I think. I want to put these two away inside there. We're going to make the rest of the glass because I could do this. Um, not all of it. Uh, I might have to get some more titanium. Darn it. Yeah, I don't have any more. Well, let's put two quarts away so I can do a hatch. I think a hatch also requires a piece of titanium, which two pieces. But if I want to do this, yeah, I'm going to need to get some titanium. Okay. Casey, thank you. Skelly of a Reaper in the lava zone, so it kind of makes sense. There's a theory. Yeah, actually, I heard that, that he actually goes to the surface and hunts Reapers. And we should be friends because I hunt Reapers, too. I'm just saying. Okay, so we got glass. thinking this is turning out pretty good. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Margaret made it from below zero. She's a sea dragon, theoretically. No, she's she's alive uh, in below. She's from this one. She's from the Degassi. That's what I meant to say. It has dawned on me that I need a ladder. I could probably put a ladder here. We're going to, it doesn't matter how I crack this. I was thinking this whole tube could be an alien containment that we could have all kinds of fish in, like Reginald's, if I could find some food. You know what I'm saying? Food. You have water, you have like uh, marble melons, we'd have Reginald's. I think it would be cool. I just don't have enough to make that much. No, she's not any. There we go. So that's done. Yeah, we'll put a ladder here, I guess. I could kind of squeeze in and do. We'll go all the way up. We're just going to need more titanium and more quartz because that's my life. I could put another one in. Put one at the top. Yeah, and this is it right here. Then I just got to put one in the middle. There we go. Um, yep. I need something to put in that pot plant. Potted plant. See how our marble melons are doing? They're really good. Okay, um, oh, 
Oh, I hate this. There we go. Fill this up. And I think I can still eat these. Nope. <sighs> I don't have enough for this, so that's that. See you later, water. All right, well, you guys know what we got to do. We got to farm more materials. Welcome to Old Captain. Look at it. I scanned him. I haven't seen him since. Huh. I should save my game. That did load in. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> grind, yeah. Grind is a better word, you know. I mean, it's a big base, to be fair. It's got a lot of windows. So you got to reinforce it. We're pretty far down. You guys know. There we go. Oh, I, I got a fish. Oh, the dunes are this way. What am I talking about? Well, we killed two of the dunes, and then I did see a third. I can even hear him. You. I need some fish first. We got to stop and get lunch. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There you are. water but it we're fine go grab some milk from the store okay back out to the dunes there's at least i want to say four or more rapers in the dunes because i can hear another one i really don't necessarily want to fight another one I will if I have to. Speaking of which, we should probably fix this up just in case somebody wants to mess with them. We can come in here and pull those. I need just like two more slots. Oh, I dropped it. No. There we go. That was a mistake. Right there. We can take the thermal out. We can put that for more storage. All right, just leave me alone. And we'll be okay. Oh, titanium. Silver. I can hear him, man. He's carrying on. Let's go this way.
Do we have a wreck over here or something? We did. Did we ever go in this one? I don't remember. I think we'll be okay. I hear one in the distance, but I don't remember. Oh, I definitely needed that. What, what, what are you doing there, buddy? Okay, there's a way in here. Why do I not see it? Those doors all look closed. What is it? There's like no way in this thing. Right? You can't fix that door. You can't fix that one or that one. We'll drink the water, though. Oh, maybe this is it. No. There, that's, that's what it is, okay. It was possible in Below Zero to use the the cheat commands in creative mode and get uh, get a working Seamoth. That's a fact. What is this? Oh, the reinforced diving suit. Neat. Well, apparently we were never here. Did I ever get this? I did. And I got that. Oh, there's a door to cut. Okay. Are you trapped in there, buddy? That in there. That there. Let's cut this open. <clears throat> no, Zwan, they weren't dark. I don't think they were. I really need my coffee. I'm dying here. Everybody at him. I don't have. There we go. Okay, we got baseball hats. I mean, yeah. Dude, is that booze? I want the booze. Not now. Yeah, these doors aren't cuttable. I need to check now just to make sure. No, they're not cuttable. Yeah. There was some on the other side. Yeah, nope, they're not cuttable. So you have to go in that way. All right. <clears throat> can I, I don't think you can scan the booze. I didn't get an icon to scan it. All right, I need to get my coffee. Give me a second.
think you, you think I missed it? I might have. It's one. We'll go back in there and find out. Let's see. Um, I have all that scanned. I go. Oh, you're right, Swan. Agualicious. Okay. Okay, we did come here for resources, though. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, keep continuing on here. I did also get the natural selection two poster in below zero via com commands. Okay. Okay, so we got metal here. I love those guys. The sand sharks, they're cool. They just suck in captivity because they don't do anything. They just float. Out here, they do all kinds of fun stuff and I like that. All right, well, let's go down this way. Maybe we can find... I kind of don't want to walk through the Lost River. Can I scan this? Oh, it's not like below zero. Okay. Well, eh, that's poop. What is this? We have a lot of salt. I have more titanium, but I need some nodes. We may end up having to go through the Lost River. There's got to be more here in the dunes than just this, right? Oh, we don't... Is that... <clears throat> Glow whales. Yeah, I don't think we want to go down that. There we go, there we go. There we go. Wait a minute. Coffee and Red Bull? Like together's one? Dang, you're a man. Well, whales and bases, they get stuck in every room. They are my favorite. They're beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, well, that's all gone. Let's keep moving. Where am I going? All right. I have an idea where I'm at. I think that's the void down there, isn't it? see how we're doing. I got room for another piece of scrap. Need that titanium. Yeah, coffee and Red Bull. Some say you can see sounds. <laughs> I bet. Holy God. Alright, we were here. Like an acid trip. Okay. I've finished it five times, random guy. I'm also still scared. Hey, man. It's all good, man. I just kill stuff. I'm really not seeing any nodes, and I know we would have better luck probably. Ah, there we go. I made that mistake once. I also met God. Never do that again. Small bases are good. Because of the Reapers, random guy. There's a lot of players that of Subnautica 
that are just terrified of the Reapers and the, well, all the Leviathans. I get a lot of uh, like just rage from gamers that are following my guides and like, I went over there and a Reaper or, or I got killed by a ghost Leviathan or something. And I'm just like, it's a dangerous world. Dude, he's close. Do you really want to play? Can we just leave it? Because right. I'm just going to do this. Stuff. Buddy. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. We're going. Okay, I grabbed the ground. Where was that node? Over here. <laughs> Meeting Sir Reaper for the first time. That's pretty cool. I'm not scared of the ghost and sea dragon leviathans, but Reaper. I've killed seven of them in this game, random guy. Seven Reapers and three ghost leviathans. I think the ghost leviathans look super cool. My favorite leviathan so far, though, honestly, is the Chilicerat in Below Zero. That thing looks wicked cool. Look, he's over there. Okay. Still kind of looking. I could use like one or two more nodes, but I th think, I don't know. Let's find out. Crap. <laughs> What's he? <laughs> oh, he's, what are you doing? Oh, him and the sand shark are going. Oh, sand shark don't want to play no more. Because of its aggressive nature? Yeah, probably. Let's see. I think I have more than enough, actually. All right, let's go back to the lava zone and get this done. Um, first of all, I got to design. Okay, this is the way. <clears throat> My favorite are the sea dragon, sea emperor, and glow whale. Yeah. Sea dragon's cool. I think I like, like I said, I like the Chilicerat. That thing is wicked. The, the Reaper looks cool, too. I think it looks wicked, too, but that Chilicerat. There we go. Going home. Ghost Leviathan all the way. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Yeah, I've thought about modding. I thought about modding Subnautica, but uh, not while we're doing this. I know there's a couple mods for Stranded Deep on Nexus that I looked at. I was like, that would be cool. But not while I'm doing a pirate's life. I don't even hear him. He's over there. No, he's not over there. Huh. 
I must say the Chilicerat also is one of my favorites because most creatures are my favorite. Yeah, that Chilicerat looks awesome. I think the developers did a really good job with it. Oh, you know what? We should park this over here so we could actually break everything down. Hopefully he doesn't blow my my thing up. The brood sharks, yeah, they look good too. Welcome aboard. Captain. Okay, let's break some stuff. Quality of life mods, yeah. There's a there's not many. And I'm not talking custom islands. Um, there is one that has like some underground. It's like an underwater sea base observatories thing. It looked super cool. Um, looked like something fun to explore. And then there was another one. It was more of a quality of life thing that I thought, whoa, I would really dig that. But I don't want to mess up a pirate's life right now. So, you know. I got things going. Oh, I did pick up a nutrient block. Let's eat that. Drink that. Uh, let's put these away. That away. I can put the thermal away. Put all of... Titanium away for now. That away. Let's go get all of our quartz. <clears throat> all but one. There we go. As in stackable items and more slots for chests. Okay. Working on a mess hall for my base of my creative safe and I spawned in big filtered water on the table to make it look like they were being used and were standing on the table. That's cool. I appreciate the little things, the little decor things in base builds. I think it's gives it a used, like a, a lived in look. There we go. Do you like Subnautica, Below Zero, or the original, Dominic? I'm sorry, I missed that. Um, I've been asked that so many times. I, I, it's, it's kind of hard to say. Some days I like one, some days I like the other better. Um, I like them both because each one offers something different, right? So I like the openness. I feel like the original Subnautica has a scarier vibe, a more wide open map, but I do like Below Zero because of all the building potential, the different shapes and objects you can use to build, right? Uh, for bases and things like that. I really do like the sea truck idea, how it's modular and you can, you know, add on what you need. I think that's cool. Kind of like the RV of the sea. I like that. I like the the colors are seem brighter in below zero at night, more glow. I like that I can explore more and build on the on the ground above the surface of the water. But I do appreciate this one because it's just got a vibe to it. The original's got a vibe that's just yeah, it just is so awesome. So I'm sorry, Dominic, I didn't see that right away. I have to get going. Lots of love to everybody. Have a great, e great, happy Easter. See you later, Adam. Have a great day, sir. All right. We're still going here. To be honest, polyaniline and subnautica kind of looks like alcoholic drink. 
Okay. Um, we have more than enough. What do I need? One. I just need five of these, really. Three. Here's my five. Let's get a bunch of titanium. Honestly, Subnautica Below Zero's world is very beautiful, but the original Subnautica has more potential because of a larger area to explore and many more things to do. I don't know if it's more things to do, random guy, but it is a lot bigger. I think the difference, personally, what I noticed between this game and the sequel was that while this is larger surface area underwater, there's not a lot to do above the surface of the water. You have two islands, right? And then the Aurora, that's all you have to do out of water. And then below the surface, you have, you know, you have like the lava zone, you know, the inactive lava zone, the lost river, right? And then you have the jelly shroom caves, small assortment of other caves. But I feel like in below zero, there's a lot more, it's more layered. It's not as big of a map, but it's, it's layered. So I guess if you took all those maps out, I wonder and kind of sat them end to end, which one would be bigger? I feel like there's more potential danger because if you go into the sea monkey nest, right? And you're, you're exploring the sea monkey caves, potentially you could get turned around. You have the twisty bridges, the deep twisty bridges, uh, the deep purple vents, right? Like, you got underneath the uh, lily pad zone, right? There's all kinds of caves down there. You have the crystal caves, right? Like there's all kinds of things. And then you can go above the ground. You can go up there and then you have a different mechanic and dynamic there where it's not oxygen, it's cold, which I do appreciate. I think that's why they put us in the snow so that you can have a dynamic like that to worry about. So, and then you could build bases up there. So I think it just depends on what exactly you're looking for. That's my opinion. I'm going to move this because well, I don't we'll feel it. like it's safe. You agree with me? Thank you, Em. Ever consider doing a modded below zero? I have. I really don't do a lot of modded anything. I'm kind of a purist in that fact, although um, I have recently modded a game that I'm doing a playthrough for. Um, I'm doing it for members only, but I modded Fallout 4, and I'm doing uh, Frost. Which, if you guys know anything about Fallout, Frost is, holy smokes, that's a real, that's a real survival game. That's intense. Okay, let's get back in. I have thought about, I would like to mod the original Subnautica and look at the mods available for Below Zero. I'll probably do, our, do it more of a pure base buildy kind of thing in Below Zero first and then go for a modded. I'm not too clear on what are the best mods for it though, you know? Let's see. I am happy that the Subnautica devs let us spawn in the kitty poster from... There we go. Okay. See how this is gonna work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it didn't affect my hull integrity. I think I'm going to put it right here. Oh, it did 79. Look how big this thing is. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's put another ladder in so we can get to the top. There we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, what else can we build that we need? I don't know. I think, well, I mean, I could probably always do with more thermal plants. I guess it depends on what we're actually going to do. Keep calling. Yeah, I know about it. Yep. Exactly. I appreciate your opinion. I feel like in below zero, you really struggle for items once the mining site's material finish. If you like to build bases around different biomes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I just... You know what it feels like to me? Below zero feels like to me. I do know originally it was going to be a DLC to Subnautica. And then they had all these cool ideas and they just made it, it just turned into a game. Um, I think it was like things that as after they had created the game and they watched us play it and, you know, people commenting in the forums and talking about the game and creating content for the game. I think they were like, they heard things that we wanted. They came up with their own ideas and they implemented stuff into below zero, you know, like different base building materials and things that they didn't think about at the time, or they didn't, you know, have technology to really put implement at the time. I think they put into that. I think that's part of the reason why they have that small development team now that's working on quality of life changes, bringing quality of life stuff from below zero over to Subnautica. Like I said earlier in the stream, um, I don't know exactly when that's going to be or what they are, but I do know that's what they said. So hopefully, here's, here's hoping that it turns out to be good. Okay, well, um, short of more stuff, I think like uh, this was the food zone over there. So we could do like grow beds down on the bottom. Like I would love, especially for this base, I would love to have the glass domes right here. That, that would just fit this build so perfect. Very magical how the water stays inside the aquarium when you enter and exit. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's space technologies one. Don't question technology. Okay, I'm trying to think here. <clears throat> so that'll be like the cafeteria area. So maybe the center part here, we put like vending machines, coffee machines, countertops and stuff there. We have grow beds on the bottom. Well, we will. We only have one now. And then maybe on the top, we do like a little cafeteria eating area. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> maybe we do two. Like the bottom one is for standard crew and then you got officers and stuff up here so they don't actually have to go down a, a level i guess i don't know yeah oh that's right i took that ladder out hey on Kush. how are you All right, that's growing really nice. Um, let's drink a little water. There we go. Let's save our game, drink some coffee, and then I'm trying to think what else I need. We need fish. I need fish for the aquarium. Have an amazing Easter, Dominic. Thank you for hanging out with us, man. Take it easy, man. All right. Yeah, that's... I kind of wonder if I don't... Well, I'm afraid if I leave this thing. He's not going to leave it alone. Yeah. We need to go find some Reggies for the tank. I need two. I think I need four. Well, I could grow two here, transport two more over to the other base to grow over there. Yeah, I just need two to start with. 
We are finishing up the lava zone base on Koop, but it's a lot of materials. Got all my windows in. I'm gonna work on the observatory parts. We need an observatory part, like a bedroom part. We have a fish area um, over here. I think next weekend on Koosh, we're going to check out Planet Crafter. That looks pretty cool. <clears throat> well, I guess it depends on how much we finish today. Well, depending on what I get done today, depends on what we do next Saturday, for sure. But I am going to be looking at Planet Crafter at some point soon. That looks pretty awesome fun. We'll see, though. I haven't played it. I got it. I just haven't played it. Oh! Where? There we go. We're home. Yes. I think we're going to take ye old sea mod back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, I'll be alright. I was going to get some water, but... <clears throat> a sandwich, Chris. I had a roast... Well, I had a pastrami sandwich before I started the stream. Online. Okay, I need a Reginalds, man. What are you? I want to say I saw some over here in the grassy plateaus. Can we not do this? Oh, now you... Oh! Sweet! They're all over the place. Come here. Come here. Suddenly he doesn't want to play anymore. Fancy as hell a pastrami sandwich? No. I stopped at the store yesterday before after work. Got my granddaughter an Easter basket. Got my wife an Easter basket. Got myself some lunch meat. Oh, uh, is this another one? No. Not a spade fish. I mean, we got two. That's what's up. Oh, you know what we need? We need, like, cool stuff to put in there. Um, cheese with loads of pasta. Ooh. That's actually good. My wife makes this thing called, she calls cheesy spaghetti. My kids hate it. But it's spaghetti noodles like garlic and olive oil and like hard cheeses all melted on it like parmesan and romano so that it just where is my fairness oh it's so good it's so so bad for your cholesterol but Whew. 
Oh, that's right. This is the SS Owen Wilson. All right, I need cool things to put in there. Uh, wherefore am I going? This way. No. No, no. Ah. I thought there was like a hole around here for the the jelly shroom caves. Wasn't there? Your mom makes that too, yo. That's so good. I never ate it before until my wife made it, and I was like, yo. Well, that's a no. So good. I just had my dinner, but getting hungry again, hearing about cheese, but me and cheese have a love affair. I love it, but man, it really doesn't like me. What the hell? I don't like that. That's scary. Okay, uh, let's go this way, I guess. I want cool stuff to put in the bottom of that thing. Maybe. I'm thinking about some of this. Maybe, I don't know. Not now. Zero points. Yeah. I'm making biscuits and gravy right now. Oh, Jana. That's what's up. Biscuits and gravy is really good. My wife makes some pretty... Okay, so over this way... Was it? No, it was over here, right? Yeah, it was. God, it's been so long since I've been to the safe shallows. Just give me a hole. Please send me the recipe. Twice-baked cholesterol. Yes, Chris. Side of angioplasty. All right, somewhere around here. I just need a couple of those mushrooms. Maybe one. Just give me a hole. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Could follow this around. I don't remember which way it was. Sausage and gravy biscuits last night. Oh, Z. Jesus, I'm getting hungry. Here we go. This is it. I'm in New England and make crepes, but I want me a pancake. Oh, pancakes. You know what I like? I like to get a fried egg and put them between the pancakes. My daughter's got a farm now, so I get those farm fresh eggs. Let me tell you a story about that. This is a true story. So I. I didn't realize, I mean, I knew, but I didn't know that they kind of pasteurize the eggs, right? They kill any bacteria on the shell after they get it from the farm. Well, when you get it from the farm, like I do from, you know, not all the time, but a good deal of time from my daughter. And I made some eggs, but I didn't wash my hands after I held that, handled the eggs before I ate. Buddy, it gave me the poops. <laughs> It gave me the poops. All right, so one of those is cool. Um, God, I don't know. Yeah, crepes are good. Vegetables this evening. Vegetable soup is good. Imp. 
I like I like vegetables. We grow our own vegetables in the summertime. Actually, that's what we're going to be doing. Part of the, what we're going to be doing tomorrow is getting our uh, lettuce, our lettuce in. While I'm smoking a big old pork shoulder. There we go. Okay, let's go back this way. I think I got what I want, I think. I don't know. We make crepes filled with cottage cheese and then smother and butter. They are so good. That sounds good. Hey, Dinosaur King. What is cracking with you? Um... No, I'm good. There we go. This way. See you later, dorky. Have a good Easter, man. I do a crepe with mush, mashed potatoes with garlic and butter and spinach and sausage. Mashed potatoes? I had strawberry plants, but my dogs ruined them, so we never got to eat them. That's a shame because that's the best strawberry. We have strawberry. Okay, I'll tell you. We have strawberries. We have raspberries. We grow lettuce. We grow some corn. We grow um, squash, like winter squash. We grow tomatoes. We grow peppers, like green peppers. Uh, my wife will take all of the the vegetables that we grow and we will vacuum seal them, put them in the freezers downstairs in the basement. And that's what we eat all winter. We eat our, we eat the vegetables we grow. Legit. That's the, that's, this is. Legit. So when we go grocery shopping, we need like, we're looking for some meats and stuff because we have our stuff. Oh, and last year we grew our own potatoes. That was actually kind of a cool experience. Dude, that thing is wrecked. It's all, it's all on fire. Um, yep. Ooh, he's got spices on him. All right, let's go back. We can get that going, and then maybe we can figure out exactly what else we need. Somewhere this way. If I didn't have thalassophobia, I would love to explore the sea in this type of suit. Oh. I don't have thalassophobia, and I wouldn't do it on Kush. That's nuts. <clears throat> maybe your wife's... Hydrangeas with with bloom this year, it can take three to four years, yeah. Maybe. I don't know, Z. That thing is uh, it's a bane of my existence. I'm about ready to rip that thing out and just buy a bigger one. Well, they grow, but the dogs would mark their territory on them, and yeah. Potato man. That was cool. That was a cool experience. <clears throat> Kind of want to do Yukon Golds this year, though. Maybe some reds. Oh, 
Okay. It takes them a few years to establish a good enough root system to have the energy to put out flowers. Well, then this should be our year, Z, because I think it's been three, three or four years. And yeah, it gets like a decent, like it doesn't get large, but it gets, it gets up there. And then it just never produces. She gets so frustrated. But she's been working on her. She got like stuff going on. She's a busybody. She got roses. She's got hydrangeas. She's got lily. She got all kinds. Of stuff. Okay. I am feeling good about this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it didn't matter, did it? I could have just done it from the bottom. All right, you guys, do your job. I don't know if that's going to look cool, but whatever. All right, so that's done. I used to visit grandparents. They had a farm where they grew some vegetables and it always tasted super yummy. Not like the ones you get in the cities. No. City city vegetables are poop. They got no flavor compared to like the fresh grown. All right, what am I doing? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter. What about this? Okay, so that's just titanium. That's just titanium. That's a little bit of glass. Oh gonna do this um gonna have to go down this way no down yes you should make a fish farm to feed the sea dragons nope it's to feed me I'm going to take some of those once they get enough going, because that's a big containment. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, you give me some water. Glass. There we go. Let's just take a couple. Empty. That is all that. Okay, that's good. What do we got here? Uh, we'll leave that. Yeah, that's good. And that's a bunch of, I don't know. Oh, everybody has stuff they like. Okay, now we can go back up by going this way. Oh, that's right. I am going to have to put a ladder in for that second floor, ain't I? Maybe I'll do... Ah, I guess. Okay. My dog is carrying on out there. I don't want to do this. Then, well, we got to have the coffee machine, right? Oh, that goes on the wall, doesn't it? All right. You look like you could use some coffee. <laughs> I do need some, don't I? Uh, let's put this in. You look like you could use some coffee. 
Do I have a dog? I have a Rottweiler and a Boxer Pit mix. And I have five cats. <laughs> Do I have a dog? Let me tell you. And one right here. And uh, one over here. Now we need some chairs, just some standard. Oh, we're out of titanium. Dang it, man. I might move this to the middle, I think. It's a little close to that one. Can I have this? That was fun. These two f find and give me ripe tomatoes. They were just the juiciest. Yeah, they're so good. Then my wife will make some homemade salsa. She, my wife cans. Like I could always use some coffee. All right. Yeah, we definitely need more titanium. Then we have to do the same down here. I don't know. You know what? I will make this like a crew bedroom area because just how that is. And this can be, yeah, this could be this. This will be fun. Let's see. Can I move this over? I think that's dead on. That's not dead on, but whatever. It'll drive Kelly nuts, so it'll be fine. Okay, so crew quarters down below. We got a little cafe here. I got two cats and some type of small white Texas terrier and a chihuahua and a Pomeranian mix, though is quite big for both his parents' breed. That's cool. That's cool. I just kind of have a big property and... Uh, I let my dogs. They're outside right now. We had fruit trees, but never got to taste them as we used to visit in summer, and the fruit would be ripe in the winter. Yeah, you know, I had a tree in the backyard in the Rottweiler when he was young. He, uh, It was a young tree, very small, but he ripped it out. That was pretty awesome. All right, so we need titanium is what I'm saying. Lots of it. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think... Wait a minute. What was it, over here? Can't remember. Might have been over this way. In the inactive lava zone is a number of nodes as well. My gramps and I would sit on the patio with... A paring knife and salt and shaker. That's what I'm talking about. Super cool. Yeah, up here. The lobberies. Gotta go, everyone. Have a great day and an Easter. Kelly, have a good have a good Easter. Take it easy, my friend. Look, see right here. Chihuahua and Pomeranian mix was neglected and put in a metal cage in the hot sun. Oh, that's horrible. He's happy now. Well, that's all that matters.
There we go. Still going. Do you want to play? I didn't think so. All right, somewhere. Oh, yep, over here. Lag? Oh yeah, we're lagging. We are lagging hard. Pause that. All right, so uh, we're going to just take a quick break while I figure out what is going on in the backside here. Put you guys in uh, intermission.
Okay. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That was weird. I think I know what it was. There we go. <clears throat> Interesting. I think we were getting... <clears throat> Dost. Should be okay now. I'm not seeing any issues. Interesting. Okay. Let's go over here. I could probably do one more node. All right, let me get my windows in order just real quick. I, for some reason, have two different chats popped up. And I'm not sure which one is... The correct one so let's pop this out pop chat out there we go everything looks good now yeah no data excellent condition okay can you guys see and hear me now is everything okay how does it look So far, so good. Yeah, I was getting major drop frames, major issues. And uh, I turned my VPN on and everything stopped magically. Sounds like somebody was trying to mess with me i don't know all right i need i could use one more titanium node oh i see you see me i'm gonna go this way no i just want this You can leave me alone. That would be so helpful. Hey, Petra. Yep, no drop frames or anything. Could you guys just leave me alone? Jeez. Fuck. Go away. All right. I'm out of here. Nobody's going to leave me alone. Time to leave. I don't remember where we're supposed to go. Oh, over this way. Yeah, that was weird. Thank God I have a VPN. There, here's some more. Doing my best SpongeBob imitating Sandy. <laughs> hey. All right. These fired these drakes are not going to leave us alone. 
We're just going to go this way. Get out of here. Just like so. And then let's see. Right there. Um, yeah. Jesus, leave me. All right, come on. All right. I am dropping some frames here. Dropping them again. like it's going to go again. I'm going to get myself to the base and we may just call it. In fact, the frames are dropping pretty hard. Yep. All right, everybody, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, I think that's it for me. Somebody clearly does not want me playing today. So that's it. See you guys later. Uh, have a great, if you guys can hear me, I don't know if you can. Have a great Easter. There is no stream on Sunday, and we'll be back on Saturday to finish this build, and then we're going to be taking a look at Planet Crafter. Um, I love you guys. Have a good one.